headset caps. Some knows everything about them, others only expect that they know something, while the third group of the people have no idea how these should be used. So in this video we'll figure out how the headset caps works on Scott's Bark RC model and uh, you could modify your bike as well based on the information you will find out in this video. So that said, let's begin. First of all, there are two types of cups. One has a notch in the center, while the other is unified without any notches at all. In addition, there are two pins which kind of directs how this headset cup goes into the frame. So that is kind of the only thing you have to know, except two other things which are also important. First is that the cups the notch has uh, 0 0.6 degrees so they adjust the angle of your head tube and in addition to this these are size dependable so if you have s or m size frame and you want to give your buddy those cups who has excel bike uh, don't do that because they are size dependable you can see that information on the other part of the cup and it's written here so this one is from L frame size HD 105 0.6 while the other is universal so this could fit anything. We'll begin using 0.6 cups because those uh, normally come with the bikes uh, from the shop. However, if you are not aware how they are set up, you might be riding the geometry you, which you not necessarily want to write. So we'll begin by having the notch at the back. One important thing to know is that the notches shouldn't uh, match top and bottom. So if the bottom is at the back, uh, the top should be facing towards the front and opposite. You shouldn't make them both exact direction. So keep that in mind. The pins which are at the cups allow us to fit uh, everything in place and actually I already... Oh, what the fuck? Oh. As this is just for resolution purposes, I'm not going to add this one just to make my life a bit easier and also I'm using the handlebars which uh, from originally from this bike but I have a different pair. What we're going to do now is measure the distance from the fork axle up to the uh, bottom bracket. Keep in mind that this is L-sized frame. Make that measurement from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the fork. It's 74.8 or something around those lines. So this is the distance from the bottom bracket to the axle of the uh, uh, four. What we're going to do next is to change the direction. So the first example at the bottom was at the back while the top was facing the front and now the top is looking at the back while the bottom is looking at the front. Let's tighten up and we can again measure the distance from the bottom bracket to the end of the bottom of the fork. So in this scenario, it's 76. 76. That gives you an indication that by changing your cups, you can change how much your front fork will go in front. And in this scenario, it goes more than one centimeter in front. If you want the slacker version, the way it is now, the top, in this direction, the bottom, in this direction. If we change this to the opposite direction where the top headset notch showcases uh, at the front while the bottom notch pins at the back, you would get more steeper version where the degree here becomes more perpendicular. That said, you already know how you should set up the cups when the bike comes to you, but now let's assume that you don't want either of those and I will also spend some time to install those zero uh, degree cups 
The logic says that once we install those headset cups with zero degrees, it should be in the middle between one number and the other. So if it was like 74.8 and 76, it will be in the middle. So we will see. Also, these are separable. I'm using the biggest spacer on my uh, headsets. It kind of reduces the amount of dust which can go into our, your headset. So instead of using the separate ones, I use single one because the height of this is fair enough uh, for my headset setup. So will we get 75.4 episodes? Something around 75. 0.5, which makes sense. Which angle you should choose uh, for your rides, it's up to your preference where you are riding. In the last few months I've been riding with slacker version only, so that means my front wheel is more in front. I've been riding in Tenerife with slacker version uh, for two months, then I was racing in Portugal. Once I came back I kind of remain with the same setup and now in Lithuania I will start using steeper version and we'll see what the difference it will give me and it kind of changes a bit how you feel on the bike so I'll try to compare the difference and maybe at some point in the future on other yearly video I will cover those differences based on my perspective and the feeling itself. The reason why I created this video is because I had to unconnect everything and because I unconnected everything I am going to change the headset bearings to ceramic speed. We will see whether it will prove to be beneficial or not but I have some doubts because I don't have the spare cups so installing new bearings into the old cups might be not the best ever idea even though it doesn't look like to be worn out badly but I can see that in those neutral ones it snugs a lot more stiffly than in the old ones and that's it if you're interested to Scott Spark uh, maintenance or you just want to have a look at racing analysis, just check videos on my channel. Thanks. That's it, thanks for the time and I hope to see you around.